Hi, I'd just like to thank you very much for joining me today as I'd like to share with you a simple yet powerful dietary technique to aid in the recovery of your kidney health. Kidney health and the alkaline diet. Okay, so when treating kidney disease, or any disease for that matter, the best place to start is at the very foundations of health. It's a known fact that an unhealthy diet can cause many health conditions, which left untreated can ultimately lead to kidney disease. Diabetes and high blood pressure are excellent examples of this, as they are the number one and number two most common cause of kidney disease, and they're both a result of an unhealthy diet. Therefore, it would be safe to assume a healthy kidney diet is paramount if one wants to treat kidney disease effectively, regardless of your cause. But before I go on any further regarding the best kidney diet to improve kidney function and take the strain off, let's take a quick step back and look at the functions that your kidneys carry out. This will give us an insight as to why the diet I'm about to recommend is perfect for kidney health. The kidneys are essential for life and perform many vital functions. They filter out toxins from the blood, balance fluid levels, produce hormones, control blood pressure, activate vitamin D, increase red blood cell production and regulate blood pH, just to name a few. And to do all this, the kidneys have to filter out on average 180 litres of blood every single day. This equates to 65,000 litres a year and over 5 million litres over a lifetime. This is why it's essential to look after our kidneys and improve their health if we are diagnosed with kidney disease. Thankfully, however, we can influence the health of our body and assist the function of the kidneys through diet. The best diet for the kidneys can be quite complicated as requirements of certain nutrients vary according to the level of kidney damage and your personal needs. However, one core element for a healthy kidney diet influences one of the key kidney functions directly and that is the regulation of blood pH levels. The ideal blood pH for the body to perform its vital functions is slightly alkaline, between 7.35 to 7.45. So when one has kidney disease, it is easy for the kidneys to fall behind, so to speak, causing the acid alkaline balance to be thrown out. In extreme cases, when the blood deviates even just slightly out of this narrow window, all biochemicals pathways come to a halt and death shortly follows. Now thankfully this is not a regular occurrence because the body has ways in which it compensates for this lag in acid elimination. Rather than risk the pH levels of the blood becoming too acidic, the body pushes out the acid into the tissues where it is safer. This is fine in the short term but extended periods can cause a condition known as metabolic acidosis which is also responsible for many chronic illnesses. Acidosis has been linked to the following illnesses. Diabetes, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, obesity, bladder conditions, kidney stones, immune deficiency, free radical damage, hormonal problems, premature aging, gout, osteoporosis, joint pain, aching muscles, fatigue, headaches, and of course, kidney disease. So how do we combat all this through diet? Well, thankfully it's easy. Make sure you eat more alkaline forming foods than acid forming foods. This is known as the alkaline diet. And the great part is this diet will benefit all kidney disease patients of all causes, whether your aim is to reverse kidney damage or just protect and prolong the healthy kidneys. Okay, so we now know acidosis is bad and keeping alkaline is great. Let's take a look then at how we can determine the pH of foods. Unfortunately, the alkaline diet is not exactly straightforward and predictable as you first might think, and that is because it does not rely on the taste of food to determine the pH level. For example, a food that tastes acidic doesn't necessarily have an acidic effect on the body. What defines whether a food has an acidic effect is the way it breaks down. When food is metabolized, it leaves a residual ash and this ash determines the pH level of the food. Great examples are lemons and tomatoes which are very acidic prior to ingestion but actually leaves an alkaline residue after being digested. If your previous diet was in a state of imbalance, changing to predominantly alkaline foods has a practically immediate benefit, taking some of the burden off the kidneys after even only a few short hours. There are many products available, such as herbs and nutrients that can help alkalize the body, but the best treatment is prevention. Avoiding acidic foods in the diet saves us having to treat the problem and the kidneys are spared the extra work.
The modern Western diet is full of acidic foods and drinks, such as meat, dairy, coffee, wheat, soft drinks and alcohol. The kidneys not only have to filter out the toxins from these highly processed foods, but also now have to alkalize the blood. It is easy to see that a diet that places such a constant burden on the kidneys would start to damage them after a while. And even if your kidneys are still healthy, your whole body will be grateful if you stop poisoning yourself with these foods. Generally speaking, most foods that are considered unhealthy are acidic, but not all acidic foods are unhealthy. For example, animal meats are high in saturated fat and considered unhealthy for kidney function. On top of this, all animal products are acidic, so they should be consumed in less quantities or avoided altogether. The exception here is fish. It is acidic, yes, but the essential fatty acids or healthy fats have a positive impact upon kidney and cardiovascular health, so therefore they are a positive acidic choice. The same goes for whole grains, such as rye, oats and barley. These foods are also acidic but are highly nutritional, especially when compared to white and processed grains. So these also should be part of your acidic food intake. On the other hand, fresh and vital foods are alkaline and should make up the bulk of your diet. Vegetables are considered alkaline, as are fruits, with the exception of cranberries. It is important to note that the idea is not to exclusively eat alkaline foods, which is near impossible anyway, but um, a simple way I like to eat is make sure three quarters of my plate is filled with alkaline foods and a quarter of my plate is filled with healthy acidic foods. You know, if you keep it simple, you'll, you'll go a long way. So how do we know if this diet's working? Thankfully it's really easy with the use of pH test strips or litmus paper. This is an easy way to measure the acidity of a liquid as the litmus paper changes colour to indicate your pH level. All you need to do is urinate on a pH test strip each morning and assess your pH levels. And what we're aiming for here is to reach a pH of 6.75 to 7.2. And please note, urine pH does not have to be exactly the same as the blood pH reference range. Of course, those with kidney disease need to speak to their healthcare professional before undertaking any new diet. Benefits of an alkaline diet. The alkaline diet not only benefits kidney function, but also has a positive impact upon many other illnesses. Your entire body will thank you, and you'll notice a dramatic impact upon your well-being. The most common benefits that one may experience while on this diet are increase in energy, improved digestion and bowel function, improved sleep, clearer thinking and improved memory, decrease in joint and muscle pain, and many mild diseases may even disappear overnight. On top of this, there are a number of other conditions that are known to improve on an alkaline diet, and they include skin problems, arthritis, obesity, allergies, headaches, and poor immunity. There are many natural therapies available. Combined with appropriate dietary and lifestyle changes, you can both reverse kidney damage and protect from further damage to your kidneys in the future. Get an effective step-by-step -step program proven to start healing your kidneys today Take action by clicking the link below. You'd be surprised how well this works. If you're ready to take action, click on the link below this video now.